Hey, 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 come on in. Belmy Cherry here. Good evening, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, whatever it is for you. Welcome. Uh, if you're new here, come on in. Don't be shy. Make yourself feel comfortable. Here we normally review beauty products. We take trips here and there to find these beauty products at their most affordable price. And if you are female or gal or whatever you may be, you enjoy watching beauty related content, please subscribe. It'll do me a great deal of support. I'm starting out. I'm trying to grow in this YouTube world. I love makeup. I know you guys love makeup too. So we love something. We got something in common. Okay. So let's be a family. Subscribe. Like these videos. If you like these videos in this channel, if that's something you're interested in, you, you enjoyed watching. Um, and do all that stuff. It's, you know, just a click of a button. It, don't, it won't do you any harm. We don't we don't do bad things here, okay? So it's not gonna, you know, attract any bad feeds into your your page. I promise. So, and if you're coming back, all love and kisses to you. And um, thank you. Thank you for stopping by once more. So here I already have the face lightly touched up. Um, so many things to review, so many things to do. I hate having to sit here doing an, a whole hour video and having to edit and stuff, trying to get it up on time. I'm already behind this week on my videos. Busy week, busy timing for me. So I'm starting ahead and then we're going to catch up with what needs, with, with the necessities, with the necessaries, okay? So I'm coming in. I already have my foundation on. This time around, I... Um, Use my Milani foundation, Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation in the shade of 500. I've been loving this foundation, you guys. Beautifully light and although it's thick, like it has a thick consistency, but it's so beautiful on the skin. Natural finish, as it says, for real, for real. You're able to get these. Lately, we've been spotting them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I was able to get them from Marshalls for $4. Like that's better than Walgreens and Walmart so grab them if you see them it's still good um, and it's also available on their site I believe it's like six dollars or five dollars but it's still cheaper right this is what I mean most affordable price okay um, we have on the face um, a little bit of light contour um, the elf putty bronzer on the face I am also loving this this is kind of this is what's popping lately. Creamy bronzers in this shape or form and some stick forms as well. We did review a um, duo contour bronzer type of um, product on my last video. Do check that out. I'll put the card on top for you guys. I'm not even gonna say who it was, what it was or whatever. If you get deep into this video enough, you will find out though. That I, sh I promise you. So I use this one this time around, um, and we're gonna come in and get the face all dolled up. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte Shape, my Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte in the Deep Honey, right? All right, Deep Honey it is, a beautiful shade. So we have that. I never noticed if this had a, it does have a smell to it. This has a smell to it. I never noticed that until now. Okay, and my light shade concealer to match, you know, to pair this up with, I'm gonna go ahead and pair that up with Cover FX Power Play Concealer, shade G Medium 2, which is much lighter. I thought this would have been light enough to pair with that, but it's not. But this one though, it's light light. gonna give us a little pop okay we're gonna let this sink in let me go ahead and fill in my brow real quick and um, clean that up as well with the concealer I do need to do my eyebrows don't come for me it's not the time for it now all right so 
concealers about is 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 more than ready. We're gonna go ahead and use my Real Technique sponge. Just soften up the edge with the foundation part of the sponge. In between the bronzer line and the highlight. So we did that. Um, a bronzer highlight is not too light. It's a beautiful color combo. I can go in with that um, lighter shade a tad bit. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit so you've made it this far you guys I am coming in okay let me take you back a little bit so I did review a um, the Patrick Ta bronzer contour and bronzer duo palette that he has I spot I did spot it at Sephora going in to get the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer cream bronzer came to find out they didn't have the shades that i needed yada 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 fast forward i got it i reviewed it i that video should be up um the card of that video should be available for you guys to see um then something happened while i was reviewing it i on camera filming it perhaps the lighting or whatnot Check out the video. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Bronzer was not the deepest on for me. It was not the deepest of my bronzers. I troubled with the cream showing on my skin. Mind you, I'm like... Um, and that was the... And then not paying attention as I was filming it to, to let you guys... Which, what, you know, how many shades that were available from that... Um, contour line or from that you know collection came to find out as i go as i went into the the website to see what else they could have that's as a, that's like a deeper shade for me to jump to or switch it to that was the last shade that was the deepest shade they carried that got me thinking is patrick ta out here creating products for us or what not sure if i i mean i really tried i really love love patrick Tar's products and i really wanted to have that palette to call that palette mine but it was not showing on the skin as much i wish there were a deeper shade and that was a deeper shade so i instead of you know forcing myself for forcing it up on me i went back to sephora i switched that product and stumbled onto this bad boy right here house lab from by lady gaga lady gaga y'all house lab supposedly i never really tried her previous line um before this one supposedly she's coming back around bigger and better with new formulated product if you didn't try the first one most likely you're gonna love this one or if you did try the first one a lot of people didn't like it and perhaps want to try the newest one and see if there's any improvement there we go y'all see let me put a teensy bit further down so to see if there's any improvement if there isn't will let her know or y'all y'all you guys who already know the difference from the previous collection or previous line to this one let her know how she do but i love me gaga i love mm, like i'm a gaga cuckoo fan okay so i was like why not try her line why not try her line so i got me the bronzer this 
powder sculpt velvet bronzer this is it um this is in the shade of deep level 12 there's deep level 11 10 9 yada 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 so not to really be going back and forth returning stuff i chose me the darkest shade that was that um this is it i'm sure it's gonna show on my skin this is the packaging this part here is kind of velvety and the back is it's like a plastic but you know it's so pretty and it's kind of like bronzy orangey type of packaging which i love so we're here to see what miss gaga got going on what house labs been cooking in the lab okay so we're gonna go ahead and we have the bronzer the highlight and everything i'm gonna go ahead and use um we're gonna use this on the face to bronze up and let's dive in or should I say? Okay. I don't know. Let's get in there. It's pretty dark. Oh, it is dark. Start right here. Yep. Right off the bat. Boom. I mean, if you are... Y'all see right off the bat she's sculpting you so we're gonna put that bronzer oh wow she's dark mind you i may just leave here looking like roasted turkey but i don't mind it we're gonna put that all around the hairline Y'all would see the difference. Look at this video and go check out the other one, the other video of the Patrick Ta review. Y'all will let me know. Let me know if I'm tripping or or what. Like, what's going on? And if it's too deep, like, you know, it is deep, deep, deep. I'm not complaining about it. We could be light-handed light about it. And you use less and just spread it all over. It'll do just fine. Yo. We couldn't see anything on my on my face. I was tripping. I like the the way it felt on the skin, the Patrick Top bronzer one, but only wish I could have gotten me a deeper one. So what I'm doing now just what with no ex, extra product, I'm just kind of blending blending it in and then, you know, we see the bronziness. We see clearly and you guys see the difference, the bronziness from each end comparing to my skin. We couldn't see that with the other palette. Um, so that's that. I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place um, with my bronze palette, bronze bronzer palette. This one is the 10. I got that to use as like a setting um powder all over the face these are the shades this is what the shades are looking like i also have this one as a bronzer like the deepest shade but this is going to be all over the face this time and i'm using the second one i'm gonna use that first and then i'm gonna go in with the lattice shade to kind of um, place that as the highlights. Okay. So going in with the first one here, we're going to put that under the eye. This is it. Let's see how um, House Lab is going to do around the nose area. Just gonna go in very lightly. She not bad. Y'all, 
I love Miss House Labs. This contour, this bronzer is really bronze, has really bronzed me up. I'm roasted, I'm toasted, I'm almost burnt. <laughs> but I like it. This is this is really nice. I like the, 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 the look of this. Much different from the deeper shade of um of Patrick Ta. So we did that. Um face palette. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this palette simply bella sun kissed highlighter and blush i did grab this from tj maxx or marshall whichever one it was um use their palette love the eyeshadow palette i'll put a card of that as well for you guys to check out both swatch and you know applying on the face um i'm coming in to test these you know uh blushes Upon swatching, they did not seem to be the best, but I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt going on to the face. See how they look. I love these colors here. The highlights may be a problem too, but giving them the benefit of the doubt, letting y'all know so y'all don't waste your coins when you spot this because it's really pretty looking at it. And it just may be a disaster. So I'm here to risk it all. Although we all nicely bronzed up, but we're gonna see what these blushes and highlights got under their wings and um and call it a day so we're gonna go ahead and uh, dive into this deep shade here let me use this one that one right here holding see trying to see how it looks on the on my hand this is it y'all see it It is powdery as hell. Very powdery. Um, perhaps it may, you know, look much nicer on a wet base, you know, over the wet um, blush that, you know, we'll be doing lately. Um, but as on top of powder, no, I don't think it's the best thing. Let's just do that and we'll melt the face with um, setting spray and hopefully it works out. So this is it. This shade is really dark. Could possibly be like blush slash bronzer. I'm not gonna dive into it today. Oh shit, I just did. All right, let's fix this y'all. Let me go in with my um, kind of lightly tone that down. See, this is what we're about here. We make things work. You make a mistake, it's makeup, it's, you know, removable, it's fixable. So what just happened, I put that deep shade right here on that spot where I intended to be much lighter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use our highlight powder or blush or brush to kind of push that highlight powder further down onto it and diffuse the harshness of that color lightly and voila I don't want to use any eyeshadows today I really don't we're going to make Miss Miss um, Miss Gaga work all around the eyes. Eyes kind of like something, definition-wise. And we're going to go ahead and um, use Juvia's Place Palette over the lid to give us a little light, you know, effect. Right now, I'm just putting a teensy bit of that concealer that I use. I should have used the other one because it's much lighter, but it's okay. This could somewhat give us the color we need as well over the lid. Um, this is, you know, I love me eyeshadow palette, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of girls may not, you know, have time for that. And they just pop on some powder over the lid or bronzer over the lid and give them a little depth around the eyes and then 
they call it a day so this is what we're gonna do today so we're just gonna go natural all bronze up everywhere on the face eyes you know lid cheeks um chin everywhere forehead everywhere mm -hmm. so we're gonna let that sit and i'm gonna use this shade right here the lightest one that i use under the eye with the same brush to kind of set that mm -hmm. okay we're gonna use Miss House. We're gonna use a pointy brush and we're gonna go ahead and bronze around the eye, the crease of the eye. We're gonna bronze the crease, okay? Make sure we keep it on the crease. We don't go too crazy on the brow bone and looking cuckoo, all right? What I'm gonna do is um take this shade kind of dust it off on the edge to kind of soften the edge up <laughs> or even that same damn blush we used over the lid. Isn't that pretty? Nothing more, nothing less, okay? So we did that, easy peasy. Everything, you know, uh, relate to one another the cheeks with the lid and the bronziness around the eyes and the forehead and everywhere else we're just hmm. what's the coordinating I don't know if that's the word I don't know um so we did that we're gonna go ahead um miss the face I'm gonna use the um my Morphe setting spray, it's almost done. I need to find me some new ones. We're gonna go in with our sponge to kinda melt everything. While the face is still kinda damp, I'm gonna go ahead and get this highlight going because I know it's powdery and I don't want it to really mess me up although I want it to show its true color to you guys so we're gonna go into this one right here which is the um, bronzy one or the gold gold one let me try it on that shit is just flaking everywhere let me mist it on the brush Something new here. I don't know if it'll work. Nice. I hate it. Rarely I ever say something that I hate in this channel. But this, I hate it. Look how chunky these this highlight is. Maybe it's not showing on camera, but I see it. It's really chunky. Mind you, this is mist. It should have been melting onto the skin. It's so chunky. It is chunky. I'm not even gonna carry on. This, I'm not even gonna carry on. What? worst highlighter ever I I gave it the benefit of the doubt I really don't like this I really don't oh man I don't know if you guys seeing it but it's really not cute it is really not cute all right whatever let me just um let me mess up again let me see if 
right where that highlight is. Miss the sponge. It's too chunky. I could see it on my skin. All right, it's not melting with anything. It's not budging. No, thank you. Thank you, Miss Simply Bella. Thank you. Um, their highlight, their um, eyeshadow palette is, you know, the business. But this one, mm -mm, that's a bad rep. Um, we are doing that. Let me go ahead and I can put on my lashes, my wings to fly. And, you know, before I say goodbye and then I'll be back. Okay, guys. Lashes are on. Um, I did a little bit of liner and I used these... Um, I sculpt eye shape brow pen from Juvia's Place. I normally use my brow product or liners or pencils as eyeliner either way. So I um, I uh, lined up the lips using Trendsetter from Morphe. And I'm now going to go ahead and use... So Trendsetter. I'm going to use this... Um, Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. Vinyl Ink. This is one of the. Um, is cheeky. I am something light. That's it, you guys. What do you guys think? Besides the um, highlight or the, yeah, besides the highlight that kind of killed the deal for me, I am loving the look. Um, we all bronze up. I know we are much more pronounced around the nose area than ever before. I took that bronzer all around going into my eyebrow and on the edge of my, you know, outer crease area. I didn't do anything under the lash, the lower lash line. I'm just gonna put in my mascara. I'm not putting anything. I don't even dare to wanna take any of these other highlights on here to put them on my inner, um, on my tear duct area because, let me take another palette. Let me try that, because I'm, I'm, I'm really not liking um, these um, highlights. Let me try these Tulum, the Tulum BH palette that we grabbed not too long ago from my last TJ Maxx and Marshall haul or trip. Do check that video out as well. Yeah, this one was $5.99. I'm going to go ahead and take this highlight right here to go into my tear duct area and call it a day the light one now that, that's a highlight right this thing is so creamy already y'all see do y'all see comparing to this chunk right here let me put a tinsy bit at all see y'all see the difference power to bh man although i last used a, a palette that was just as powdery as it was powdery but it wasn't chunky as this highlight is it melted onto the skin but when you apply it it goes all over the place so you may want to it would have worked it works best once you miss the face and it'll melt into the skin but this one is just sticking up like man anyway we're done guys i feel like the lips need something else i want it let me just put over it this milani all right i just switched it up i took the milani um pleasure lipstick instead i don't know just apply it over that vinyl ink from maybelline 
the shade the fill was there but i didn't like the shade with what we got going on so we, we, we we're doing this much better y'all let me know i don't know i like this better so that's that my love i really hope you enjoyed today's video this one was a quick quick and easy bronzy um look no eyeshadows can you believe it no eyeshadows were used today we are bronzed up blushed up all around everywhere um house 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 slabs did this face house slabs bronze us up you know good around the eyes you know on the cheek chin forehead we we roasted we toasted we're loving it we are out here looking baked okay <laughs> so um power to house um uh, house lab i'm loving it love the product just as much as i love lady gaga um we did the face thanks to house um i keep saying housewives we did the face thanks to house labs and also simply bella we know not to grab this guys because the powderiness the chunkiness of these highlights even the blush it's not the best we've used in this channel i'm so sorry to say this is the first time i've ever used the h word hating the product because you know um using this palette so if it's that bad if if i don't like it if i didn't make it work then you know you know it's a done deal it's a done deal i'm not sure what i'm gonna i don't know I'm, i don't know we'll see what we're gonna do with that one but everything else is a uh, um you know nicely done uh tulum bh highlight saves the inner tear duck we gotta give it to bh the nose and maybelline and um uh milani are on the lips with um morphe trendsetters lip liner so we are calling it a day i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have not subscribed already come on you know you know like just do so please do so i said please okay please 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 i would appreciate it so much i'm trying to grow here in this youtube world and without your help i ain't going nowhere I'm just wasting coins. Would y'all want me to do that? I got bills to pay. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you guys would, uh, you know, do that much. Because I like y'all. And I hope you guys like me too. Enough rumbling. Let me get out of here. Enjoy your day. The rest of your day. I will see you guys on the next one. Do check out the videos coming up on this side of the screen. Um... Um, at the end of the video and enjoy yourselves let me know comment i'm here i'm available after five i'm here twirling my fingers looking for comments to comment and i enjoy doing so so let me know what you guys think of this video i will see you guys on the next one until next time